I don't judge preferences. Uh, in KCBS, we don't judge uh, favorites. So uh, at the table level, the judge level, we don't we don't judge that way. That's up to the computer. Sister Sophia, and we're at Kids Q in, at Pig Fest in Lakeland, Florida. And we have been cooking. She, Sophia has been cooking for three years, and I have been cooking for two years at in Kids Q. And we're today we're making chicken and steak. And how far along are you with the, the chicken and the steak? We just finished steak, and our chicken is almost done. And what time is turn in? Ten o'clock. What time is it now? It is six minutes. Six minutes till yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll turn you loose. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I want it with floral. So I, was, I never cooked it once. So I was playing around with it. And I'm like, you know, this would be nice to have. It doesn't take up much space. I hmm. got a whole another place to hold stuff, finish stuff off. It comes in handy because when the pork comes off, the ribs go on it. The pork might not be ready to come off. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't want to hurry it. So well, I, Harry Sue cooks all four meats on one of those. One yeah. Meat. Yeah. Well, I can see the merit in, in these grills. They hold their temperature really well. But uh, for me, it's just, uh, I like cooking on this. It's my, at the moment, you know, this is what I enjoy doing. But but I got a little extra space, so. That's all I do. And you got room to carry it. Yeah. yeah. Roll them in, roll them out. Like a cow, huh? <laughs> My nose, my hands, and my palate. I accept my duty to be a 19th annual Lakeland Pig Fest barbecue judge so that truth, justice, excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. You got a paper towel you want to wipe the mages with? I don't have a paper towel. 59 and 50 seconds. We got five minutes after. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so number one, I had a problem with the, um, the tenderness. I think it was slightly overcooked and I bit into a bone. It's just an odd cut of the chicken. Um, the flavor was a slightly too smoky. It had a little bit of a stinge to me. Um, number two, had fabulous flavor, but once again, the tender se tenderness uh, was slightly uh, grainy. I think it was, once again, a little bit overcooked. Um, but the sauce was fabulous. Um, number three had a very nice sweet, um, almost a sweet tangy uh, sauce to it. It was fabulous, I thought. The tenderness was pretty good. Um, number four, I do believe, was my favorite. It, it just has that nice southern comfort sweetness to it that I thought was fabulous. And um, it was perfectly cooked. Nice and moist, uh, juicy chicken. Um, number five was also fabulous. It had a sweet um, tangy sauce to it, peppery. It was very peppery. I can still taste that pepper, um, but I like pepper, so I thought it was fabulous, and um, it was perfectly cooked, very nice and moist. You're on. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Don't know how to follow that. Thank you. Uh, number one, uh, the taste was, was very well, very well done. It was a little tough as far as the texture. Number two, I thought it was a, a good bite, a little 
little peppery as far as the flavoring. Number three was probably one of my favorite ones. It was um, very well cooked, had a nice sauce on it. Number four, I thought was also done very well, had a sweet flavor to it. Uh, the sauce was, was uh, really sweet, but it, it was a, had a good bite. And number, the last one, number five, I believe, was that. And number three were probably my two best ones. I had a real sweet sauce, a little tangy, but I really did enjoy the flavor. Okay, on number one, uh, the appearance was a little lacking, um, but uh, it wasn't that flavorful. Uh, number two was a little dry, but fairly tasty, but didn't like it that well. Number three was better than the first two samples. Uh, I liked that one the best so far, until I got to number four, which I thought was the best. Uh, it was very flavorful and uh, tender and juicy. And number five was a close second to number four. Uh, I liked that one very much too. Hello. Um, all five entries looked pretty good except number one had a little bit, again, lacking. My predecessor, almost everything he said is exactly how I felt as well. So I think our judging was good. Number two was a little dry to me. However, it tasted a little bit better. Um, but it was a little, a little dry, a little tough. Number three, again, was better, and it looked better. It tasted better, and the tenderness for me was better um, until I hit number four. Number four, if you could see it, is now completely done. So number four was my top winner here. And the one that's gone, yes. And that one is, it was definitely the best because of the sweet taste on the... Uh, the tenderness the, was there, the taste was there. It was an excellent piece of chicken. And then number five, I also agree that was a very good piece of chicken. It tasted well. Of course, notice how we notice taste the first thing. But um, our tenderness was there in four and five. So it, it came in second to the tenderness, but it was very, very good. All five were were good pieces of chicken. Number one um, was my choice for the best. It was very tender, very flavorful. However, did not do a very well presentation in the box. Number two is a little dry. Um, it was t tasty. Number three <clears throat> was my least. Um, I could not bite through the skin and it was very fatty. Number four again, could not bite through the skin and had a lot of fat on the, the piece of chicken. And number five was a, <clears throat> a decent um, piece of chicken. It was tender and flavorful, but number one was my, my pick, and number three was the least. Wow. I'm impressed with your work, baby. I'm impressed with your work. We should hang out more often. We should. You want a date? No, I just want to be. Okay, well, we had some pretty good ribs. Um, my favorites were one, three, and six. They all were excellent. There's nothing I could say anything bad about them. I would have seconds and thirds of any of those three. They were wonderful. My least uh, favorite one was number four. It was tough. It had a fermented kind of taste to it. It tasted like it had been fermented. <laughs> And what I don't know, but it, it, the, the taste was you can fix tough, but you can't fix the taste once it's got a, a strange taste. Uh, I thought number three was the most unusual. I thought it was some sort of onion flake, but it turned out I think it was more of a orange peel tidbits in it. So I thought uh, it was it, very interesting. It wasn't my favorite, but it was interesting, and that's about. But we had. Uh, Three, to me, wonderful, wonderful ribs. Hi, thank you. Um, one and five were my most favorite, and three and four were my least favorite. Um, number three was unusual. 
but the forwardness of the amount of sauce that was on there was almost a little bit overwhelming when you took your first bite. It just was too forward on that. And the uh, number four was just, a, it was dry and the seasoning was just so powerful you, you couldn't taste the meat on that one as well as you could have. I mean, the flavor was okay once you got beyond the original seasoning on it. And uh, they were all very good, but number one and number five stood out. You just kept wanting to go back for another bite on those because you had to identify the flavors that were happening in your mouth. It was like uh, an explosion of flavors. It was very good. The, the amount of smoke on number one, I thought, was just perfect. It was an excellent, excellent rib. Well, normally when judging, we do each individual entry. So making a comparison is a little different. But in my case, number one would have been probably my least favorite. And uh, I got a little bit of sweetness when it started, and I thought that was good. But then the longer the taste lingered, I uh, began to get a little bit of a texture that I didn't like. It began to get a little mushy, and just the taste just didn't carry through. I think number three was probably my favorite if I had to pick a favorite. I like the, uh, I like the sauce that was on it. I like the tenderness of it. I uh, thought it had enough smoke, and it uh, just, just was the, a good rip. <clears throat> well, it looks like I'm a little different here. <clears throat> um, my, my most favorite was number one. It, uh, the appearance was great. I um, liked the appearance, uh, the smokiness, the uh, flavor, uh, tenderness. It was all there. Uh, my least favorite was number three. And... Uh, Although it was okay on the appearance uh, and, and the taste was okay, the tenderness, it was a little tough for me. So, and uh, that can happen with the uh, ribs, they're all from different uh, parts of the. Cut them off different, right? Yeah, they're cut off different, so it could, it could happen. I didn't care for number four. Number one, it was cold and it was very dry. So it's hard to eat a hot rib and follow it up with a cold rib and think, hmm. And it was very, um, the texture was not good on it. So that's my least favorite. My most favorite was number three. However, when I bit into it, I got a little piece of a bone. So I had to mark it down just for texture because apparently when they took it off the other side of the rib, they took a little chip of a bone. It looks like a toothpick. But I think overall, even though it had a very unusual flavor, it was the best cooked. Number two was overcooked, although I like them that way in a restaurant, but not in competition. Uh, number one, two, and five were my best. Uh, number one, I just number five come in number one with me. Uh, the fourth one was really just dried out. It wasn't competition status, but number three was a choker, but I still loved it. It was hot. But Overall, it was okay. Sauce on the side? No, no sauce. You can't do that. That no was sauce on the bottom. No box. sauce on the side, no pooling. <laughs> yeah. Check that out. Okay, I'm going to move it so that we can. This yeah. is not necessary. Okay, um, this is our, our pork entree today. And um, let me see. Oh, my favorites were the first three. These, this, these. <laughs> I'm not doing this very well. <laughs> You're doing fine. Okay. And um, today, everything was excellent. Um, this is this one is more like a Sunday dinner. Uh, these two are I'm not doing very well. <laughs> um, why did you like them? Why did I like them? Mm -hmm. Well, because I like the taste of pork, obviously. Okay. Okay. They were all all five of them were very tasty and tender. And today it's just been a wonderful day. We've had the chicken, we've had the ribs today, and th the cooks have been right on. They've been okay. so good, and just so tasty. Okay. Yes, sir. I, uh, I thought number two was the best taste, and it uh, tasted like pork. A lot of the cooks will add a lot more sauce to it, and you actually lose some of the flavor of the, of the meat. But number two had a real good pork no, taste to it. Uh, number four was uh, just a little dry, uh, but they were all pretty good. I think number two is the best also. Uh, number one, uh, I, I think, came in second. And uh, actually this number th four, I thought 
it's all shredded on, but still tasted pretty good. You know, didn't have a great appearance, but taste. I thought number three was a little tough. Number three was my favorite. It had uh, smoke flavor, which I, I was looking for, uh, and I thought the tenderness was spot on. Uh, number one, I thought was over sauced. Number four was uh, too dry. Uh, number three was my favorite. Now, for me, my favorite was number five. It had a good flavor. It was nice and juicy and tender. Um, my least favorite was probably number one and number three. Number three had a odd flavor. My sample had an odd flavor. I did like number four. It looked a little dry, but when I bit into it, it was actually very moist. I guess for me... Um Number four was about the best. It's pulled pork, of course, and uh, had the best pork flavor along with the smokiness. Uh, really didn't have any I, I didn't care for. I guess the least favorite would be number five. Just had a uh, funny additional flavor that shouldn't be added to, uh, to the pork, maybe in preparation or something. I'm not sure. But all in all, everything was very good, and uh, we got some good teams out here today, so we're enjoying ourselves. Thank you. Don't let that touch you. Look beautiful. Well done. Excellent. What's my time? You got like 32.40. You got a couple seconds. 20 seconds till 133. Need one more in there. Are those tender? Yeah. Okay. Two Our brisket category in the Lakeland uh, Pig Fest and um, had some really good uh, food today. And this number one brisket was um, very tender. Really uh, had great mouthfeel and um, really scored high. The number two brisket scored fairly well uh, also. Number three brisket was a, an interesting presentation. I think that it probably hurt this cook a little bit on his appearance score, but the meat flavor and, and tenderness was pretty good. So all in all, this was a very, very good brisket category at uh, this Lakeland Pig Fest uh, contest. Anybody else? You want to talk about what you ate? <laughs> no, thanks. How about you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do I have to turn you're something wrong. on? You're, you're wrong. You're oh, wrong. I won. Uh, at the at the pig fest, uh, I was table captain, and uh, uh, the food this year was extraordinary. Uh, all of my um, judges were very uh, uh, was very good at all of them. They're very consistent on all of them, and. The food was really, really good this year. We had tremendous uh, teams out there. See you next year. Same time, same station. I, I don't judge preferences. Uh, in KCBS, we don't judge uh, favorites. So uh, at the table level, judge level, we don't, we don't judge that way. That's up to the computer.